A Philadelphia business owner wanted justice after two teenagers were caught breaking into her store, but she suddenly had a change of heart, deciding to give them a second chance. Action News reporter Teronda Thomas explains what she did instead of pressing charges. We changed out the mannequins and keep it like cute. Sarah Stanley hoped the display for her shop, Miko's showroom at Broad and West Grange, would draw window shoppers. Instead, it drew window smashers. The whole window was missing. Um, it was glass inside, glass outside. It set off the alarm early Wednesday morning. 1.30 in the morning, I had the Philadelphia Police Department call my phone, and they told me that someone broke in my store. And they came in with guns. They're walking around. They're making sure that this, the store is secure. When police didn't find the two young vandals, Stanley decided she would. I threw it on my Instagram page, and I asked for help. Then they put it on another platform, and it got like a million views. It even got to the point where it was threats, threat, they was threatening to do something to them. Once I knew that they was thinking about doing something to them, that's when my whole mindset changed. The Fern Rock shop owner decided she didn't want to punish the two boys. She wanted to teach them. Once I talked to the parents, the first question I asked, do they have a record? They said no. Once they said that, I said, well, I don't want to set them up like that. My mindset had just changed from being angry to like, I got to help. Now the teens whose faces we're not showing have returned. They have to come here and pass out flyers and clean. Stanley's letting them work off the damage they did. And the window was $900. I had to um, pull it from my mortgage. I was supposed to pay my mortgage in two days. She hopes to do enough business to make up for it, not regretting her choice to give two local teens a chance. I just felt like it was a bigger purpose. I think this was supposed to happen. Off camera, I talked to the boys who broke the window. They say they're sorry for what they did and they're grateful to have a second chance. In Fern Rock, Teronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News.